Hey, what's going on? So, about a week ago, the original voice actor for Bayonetta posted on Twitter a video explaining the reason why she's not voicing Bayonetta. Which, a couple months before, we had word that Jennifer Hale is going to be the new voice actor of Bayonetta. Over here, she posts the video, and in the video, she explains that I guess Nintendo and Platinum Games had offered her $4,000 for voicing in the entire game, which will she will say here. The final offer to do the whole game as a buyout, a flat rate, was $4,000 US dollars. Right there. So when this was initially posted, I feel like the majority of us were like, wow, that sucks, you know, she shouldn't be getting paid like that, you know, we want voice actors to be paid, you know, properly and whatnot. Then I'd say a couple days later, Bloombar Bloomberg article came out. I can't speak right now. And in the article, Platinum Games sought to hire Taylor for at least five sessions, each paying 3000 to 4000 for four hours in the studio. Then said the people who asked would not be identified. All right. And then to make the total for 15000 In response, apparently Taylor had asked, for a six-figure sum, as well as res 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 I can't re residuals residuals on the game, but I guess they declined, and the cause of this, I guess, they just rehired the new voice actor, that being Jennifer Hale. But I guess later in development, they offered Taylor a cameo, in which she turned down. Then I guess there was like silence for like about a week, then a few days ago. Helena Taylor went on Twitter again, say this, It has come to my attention that some people are, are calling me a liar and a gold digger, which, I want to say people were calling you a gold digger. I don't know, I haven't really seen anyone call her a gold digger, but, alright. As I posted on part three of my video, I explained that their first offer was too low. That offer was $10,000 total. Alright, so right there, she already lied because in the first video, which we've played earlier, she stated that it was four thousand. Remember, this is a four hundred fifty million dollar franchise. That's not true either. As we go onto VG charts, I don't know how accurate this chart is, but I've seen other people use it, so I'm gonna go off of it. And it says that Bayonetta has sold. 3,090,000 copies. So if we go to the calculator and we put 3,090,000, 3, then say every copy of the game sold for $60. Hasn't even made 200 mil. So right there, I don't know where she's getting the $450 million franchise. She's not even counting merchandise with that, so we don't know where she's getting this info from. And then, and then I wrote to Hideki Kamiya Jap in Japanese asking for what I was worth. Thought it was he was a creative, he would understand. Understand. He replied saying how much he valued my con contribution to the game and how much the fans wanted the voice wanted me to voice the game. I was then offered an extra five thousand. So her final rate. Sorry about that. Was. 15,000, which is stated right here in the Bloomberg article. Then she goes on to say, so I declined to voice the game. So when she declined, I guess she, they, that's when they saw the new voice actor. Then heard nothing for them, from them for 11 months. Then offered me a flat fee to voice some lines for $4,000. Any other lies such as 4000 for five sessions are total fabrications. But you kind of just discredit yourself right here because you said four thousand five sessions are total fabrications but you then said you were offered oh shit you'd offer ten thousand plus the five thousand after writing the hideki kamiya so i guess when she's talking about the four thousand in this video now i guess she's taking the price point from the cameo i don't know what was going on when she was posting the video then then 
They were not extensive, extensive negotiations. I have also been informed of ridiculous fictions such as I asked for $250,000. I am a team player and I was just asking for a fair living wage, which, all right, you know what? Yes, that the, I think, I think the, um, where is it? The six figure could be a lie. I think this could be a lie because we don't really have much proof on that. So, you know what? I can, I can believe her on the 250000 I was paid shockingly low. A shocking little total of three thousand for the first game. A little more for the second. I wanted the voice here. I've dumped, I've dumped, drummed up interest while wow, I can't speak today at all in this game ever since I started on Twitter in twenty eleven. So honestly, I think what's what was happening was that Platinum Games had offered her the fifteen k, in which she declined. So like any other company would do. They sought out for a new voice actor. And that's when they grabbed Jennifer Hale. And then I think once she found this set out found this out, she was like, Oh, I don't like that they're replacing me. So then she continued to make the Twitter video, which now has eleven million million views. Basically digging into platinum games, saying how they paid her a very insulting rate and Basically, it's asking everyone to boycott the game now. Also, in, in like, where is it? In some of the videos she posted, she was really mean to, like, Jennifer Hale as well. Saying that it's not her character to voice. Well, I don't know, it kind of is her character now since you're not the one that's voicing her anymore. I don't know, it was just, it was a little thing. But, all I can say is that right here, she basically committed career suicide honestly i don't think any other company is going to want to hire her for voice acting anymore because now i'm going to be like because like i don't know like say if like a company wants to work with her they're like oh what if she doesn't accept our rate and she's going to tell her then she's going to go to twitter again saying how it's asking people to boycott the game and whatnot i don't know i think she's i don't think we're going to see her in much voice acting projects anymore uh, yeah. Honestly, it also seems like she's she wants to put this franchise behind her, and I also think she's just going to put voice acting behind her as well, which is a shame, but that's kind of on you. You committed your own career suicide. All right, but yeah, um, that's all. I, I just wanted to make a video on this. Uh, I've been interested in wanting to make videos on topics like this, so just let me know um, anything I can do better, and uh, yeah. If you liked it, liked the video, disliked it, disliked the video, comment, share, subscribe, it really helps. But yeah, uh, that's it. Later.